Hey, it's Seven Grains of Salt. 21 facts about vaccines that you really need to hear. This is from Shaking My Head Productions number two. Are you aware that from 2004 to 2014, zero people in the U.S. died from contracting measles, according to the CDC? During the same time, 108 people died from the MMR vaccine, according to the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System. Are you aware that a 2011 study conducted by the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute found that one in 168 babies had emergency room visits within four to 12 days after their 12-month MMR vaccination and that several children died during the study? The number of deaths was not disclosed. One in 168 is a lot higher than the one in a million vaccine injury risk that parents are told about, isn't it? Are you aware the CDC holds 50 patents on vaccines? and sells $5 billion a year worth of vaccines? Are you aware that Merck's package insert on the MMR vaccine lists death as only one of dozens of possible side effects? Have any of you read a vaccine insert? Are you aware that the U.S. Congress has ruled vaccines are unavoidably unsafe? Are you aware that vaccine safety studies are almost always conducted by the vaccine manufacturers and that none of the vaccines on the childhood schedule were tested against the true inert placebo? They were tested against an older vaccine or an adjuvant such as aluminum. Are you aware that pharmaceutical drugs under the FDA are safety tested for an average of 4.5 years prior to licensing? Vaccines are tested on average for 4.5 days prior to licensing. 4.5 days versus 4.5 years. Are you aware that a Harvard Pilgrim Hospital study funded by Health and Human Services in the U.S. revealed that less than 1% of vaccine injuries are reported? This means that more than 99% of vaccine adverse reactions are not reported or acknowledged. Are you aware that the U.S. Vaccine Injury Compensation Program has paid out more than $4 billion due to vaccine injury and death? Are you aware that Canada is the only G7 nation without a vaccine injury compensation program? The CDC uses Institute of Medicine reports to support their claim that vaccines do not cause autism. IOM's 2011 report on autism concludes, quote, the evidence is inadequate to accept or reject a causal relationship between diphtheria toxoid, tetanus toxoid, and acellular pertussis containing vaccines and autism, end quote. Institute of Medicine's 2011 safety report reviewed varicella, tetanus, hepatitis B, and MMR vaccines. 155 health conditions were studied. In 134 cases out of 155, the literature was inadequate to accept or reject causation. Does this sound like the science is settled to you? If you are not aware of these facts, then you have no business imposing this poorly tested medical procedure on Ontario's children. And if you are aware, then you are participating in medical and scientific fraud. The vast majority of parents of vaccine injured or killed children now know the truth. They know the science is inadequate to support claims that vaccines are safe. See paragraph above. You will not silence these parents through censorship, shaming, mandates, and manipulation. Until Health Canada authorizes an independent long-term study of vaccinated versus unvaccinated, you are wasting everyone's time. No amount of pressure from Health Canada, Public Health, the Toronto Board of Health, or the cor corporate control media will ever convince us otherwise. Our trust has been broken. In a 2018 Globe and Mail opinion piece, Neil Rao and Richard Shabas said this, the borderline hysteria fueled by the media and public health that greets a few cases of measles is unwarranted. Mr. Rao is a respected immunologist on the staff of University of Toronto. Dr. Shabas recently held the post of Chief Medical Officer of Health for Ontario. Perhaps you should listen to one of your own. Congress was blackmailed into drafting the NCVIA in 1986. Does everyone know what that is? Uh, just in case. National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act. Vaccine manufacturers were losing multiple big money lawsuits surrounding injury and death of their products. They demanded Congress pass a law to give them legal immunity. In doing so, Congress said you must do safety studies annually and you must report to Congress every two years. In a 2018 lawsuit, it was proven that HHS did neither of those things. No studies and no reports to Congress for 30 years. Your science has settled one, fits, one size fits all agenda in in, intended to lead all citizens down the path of compulsory vaccination is in direct violation of the Ontario Health Care Consent Act, the Universal Declaration of Bioethics and Human Rights, the Nuremberg Code, and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in the Canadian Constitution, as supported by a Health Canada statement. This is Canada. It is not Salem, Massachusetts, 1692. 
It is not Berlin, 1939. This will not stand. Thank you for your time. So if you still do trust in vaccines, please do your research either way. If you are planning on giving your children vaccine or taking any vaccine of your own, please do research before you are taking what they are providing you, whether it is for free or that you're paying for it. God bless. Take care. Have a great weekend.